is one of my favorite peoples in the whole entire world skincare routine. If you can guess, you win a million dollars. It's Deborah Joyce! <laughs> Calm down with the, the clapping back there, guys. I know. Um, we can't put her on film right now because she's social distancing. I can't, ex she's killing it. Killing the game always. We love Deb. Come in and see her and, and buy her whole skincare routine. But, so I'm gonna go over what she uses. She uses the gel cleanser, which is good for both types of skin, oily, dry, whatever. It's a texture. She says she enjoys the smell. Deb is really into everything natural. Every, she's like always on the Peloton. She's always drinking green juice. She's very inspiring. I could never do that. I, I try. It's I'm winded from even walk, rocking in this rocking chair. We're working on it, you know. It is what it is. So it's just like a regular cleanser. How you want to do again? Hot, hot water, like lukewarm water. Rub it in your hands after you wash your hands 17 times. You know, um, manipulate that on the face so it just awakens everything day and night. I feel like people don't do they don't clean their skin day and night. When you wake up, you so you just sweat all night and you have like. A glows cube but not all the time then she likes the liquid exfoliant I do too it's not abrasive she also does like the skin refiner I love this as well but this is something that you want to use twice a week because it's more like granularly it's not anything that's going to like make capillaries explode on the face or damage pores or anything like that a lot of things have like a lot of exfoliators are very rough on the skin and it can damage it this obviously does not and then she uses the liquid exfoliator. So I would just, you know, use this every day. And then when you use this, don't use that. That was confusing, but you understand. I love hydrated treatment lotion, especially if you're super dry. Um, after you do all of your, you kind of like strip the skin down with everything, and then you want to put moisture back in how you want to. So I don't think people understand like when you do use like a lotion or something like that, don't necessarily have to put it all over your face. You can focus on the T-zone where you're more dry or where you're more oily because we have oil-free, all of that oil control, all that stuff. So you have to come down in here and I will tell you what is best for you because I know everything. Just kidding. <laughs> if I did, I probably, um, I'd be backpacking in Appalachian Mountain right now, but I'm not. So. Mm, there's our hydrating treatment lotion. I love that. That's one of my favorite things too. For extra moisture, she still she uses the hydrating lotion as well. This is everyone's go-to. It's even nice. Like I always, you know, everyone's like less is more. Oh, I'm still trying to figure that out. But if I do put too much on, I will like put some on my body. It's not greasy. It's not heavy. That's why I I love that as well. Toning mist, same thing. Like after you exfoliate or before. You want to tone, I like how it's in a spray because it's easier to apply. You can even just like refresh yourself with it throughout the day if you feel like you want some more moisture to put some moisture back into your skin. It's just nice, it's refreshing. And I feel like a supermodel spraying it on myself. It's cute, it's fun, it's flirty, it's what you need. Also, eye cream, big deal. People don't pay attention to eye cream. Eye cream is huge. The texture under your eyes is a totally different texture than your skin on your face it's crazy i know but the energizing eye cream has caffeine in it so it reduces the appearance of fine lines puffiness um shadow under the eye anything like that and once you keep using it, it is corrective and preventative skin care you need to use it because if you don't take care of your skin we know how that goes i'm not going to point any fingers anyways in the winter time deb likes to use the intense hydrating hydrating soft cream the hydrating soft cream mm -hmm. which is nice because it's a little bit more concentrated a cream versus a lotion lotions are a little bit lighter creams a little bit heavier so it makes sense in the winter time when she feels as though that she needs a little bit more hydration that's what she goes to she doesn't have to use this day and night she could just put some hydrating lotion on at night and then she's using the cream during the day because it's a little bit more emollient that's a good word good for me but it's ideal for all skin types. It's just not, you know, for dry skin or oily skin or whatever kind of skin. But like I said, skincare is corrective and preventative and you need to start doing it now because you need to love your skin because that's your postcard, man. 
Thank you guys so much. This means so much to me doing this. I needed it, like I said before. I'm still super nervous. I'm awkward, clearly. Um, but I just, I'm glad I can share some knowledge and we just wanna do fun things that enlighten, brighten your day. And if you have any questions, again, comments or concerns, description box below. I'm not gonna give you my number because you have to watch the other video to get that. And if you guys wanna learn anything, let me know. Call, text. Um, we're going to be open soon. We'll keep you posted on that. And I'm excited. This is fun. I'm literally winded from the excitement I'm having.